Hey everyone, I'm Jess. And I'm Julian. And I'd like to start by acknowledging the Aboriginal people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians of the land in which we record this video today and pay respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Uh, we're from Brimbank Youth Services from the Wellbeing and Belonging team. Um, Brimbank covers a whole bunch of suburbs, um, which hopefully they'll be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Um, we work with young people aged 12 to 25 who live, work or study in the Brimbank area. Um, if you can talk to us about not feeling your usual self, family concerns, relationship challenges, um, links, we can link you into other services such as education, housing and legal. Um, you can talk to us to better understand yourself, your emotions um, and what to do with them um, and heaps and heaps more. There's so much more that we can do. Um, our number's on the screen at the bottom so you can, and you can also check out our website which will also be at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we'd also um, like to acknowledge our friends at Stack. Today we've got all these ingredients you can see in front of us um, because we're going to be cooking pancakes and also we're going to discuss mental health. What are the ingredients that we're going to need today, Jess? Um, pretty simple. Two cups of self-raising flour, one and a half cups of milk and an egg. That's all we need to make our pancakes. Thanks, Jess. And um, we have another recipe that we'll be discussing, one for mental health. Uh, we'll need a connection to others, um, a feeling like we have a purpose, a sense of hope, an ability to express ourselves and our needs, feeling of safety, respect and control over our lives and other basic human needs like shelter, good sleep, healthy nutrition, nutritious meals and a very and a healthy um, physical self. So my recipe has simple ingredients, but I'm not too sure about yours, Julian. Yeah, those, those ingredients can be a struggle to get for many of us. And that's a time when we need services. And that takes us to the equipment we need. Okay. Okay, so we're going to need some other things like a bowl, a spatula, a whisk and a ladle. Thanks for that, Jess. And uh, like that equipment that you mentioned that we need for cooking. We also have a need sometimes to access services that can help us. And there are many services within the Brimpack area that can help us with those fundamental things, things like housing and food. And we have those linked below. All right, so I'll put the egg in here and whisk. Like beating eggs, seeking help for the first time or the tenth time is going to take some effort. Speak to someone you trust, pick up that phone or contact someone online to ask for help. Here are some other services that you can call if you're feeling really low, unable to manage the moment or hopeless, having thoughts of suicide or feeling overwhelmed. All right, let's mix it all together. Our method of putting things together is important. Sometimes we have the ingredients for our pancake or we have the ingredients for our mental health, but it's just not working. It's not coming together. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, our method is really important. This is another place where services like Brimbank Youth Services can help, as well as other youth services. You might think, I have a bunch of ingredients, social connection, purpose, friends and family who are loving, but something doesn't feel right. We all need strategies, our own method of thriving in life. There are heaps of strategies, simple ones, that can help us right now. Mindfulness, like guided meditations, can help us feel more in the present, more aware of our inner life. Regular exercise and engaging with nature, going for a walk, looking at the clouds, watching exercise videos. Respectful and kind engagement on social media, support your friends and family on social media, like their posts, send them a nice message, repost kind messages. Social connection that isn't virtual can be difficult during coronavirus related restrictions and physical distancing, but smiling, air high fives, and physical connection with the people in our household, if they aren't unwell, can lift our spirits. Little gestures of kindness matter. Time away from screens, little breaks, they help too. Getting creative with music, art, colouring books, finding a new hobby like 
model making, knitting, collaging. There are lots of online tutorials. Maintaining physical distancing is important for our physical well-being, which in turn helps our mental well-being. Our physical distancing is a little act of kindness to the world and something to be proud of. Having fun is also really important. Sometimes things don't go to plan or we want to take a break, have fun. We need to mix those ingredients in, maybe things that we haven't before. Maybe that's trying something new like any of these strategies or maybe it's connecting with a service if you want more information on these strategies. Finding balance is important. Basically anything that is good and a stress relief can go too far if it interferes with things that are either meaningful for us like school, work, relationships or things that we need like sleeping, eating or brushing our teeth. If you don't have a balance in the things you can do, you can contact Brimbank Youth Services. All right, now to the cooking. Um, another part of the method is the cooking. So we'll put some butter in the pan. Yeah, and if we have the right ingredients in the right amounts and we have the right method, then with some effort we can have a successful pancake or thrive in our lives and feel mentally healthy. Beautiful. Now we just wait until the top gets a bit bubbly and then we can turn it over and then just leave it for about two to three minutes and it will be perfect. All right, see how it started bubbling on the top? It's just time to flip it. Mmm, looking good. And then leave it a little bit. And here's some that we prepared earlier. <laughs> 